Hello guys and welcome to another MK Mobile video guys today we're talking about the Black Dragon Tower first thing first before we get uh, to the tower itself the amazing part is that it seems that this time we will be getting epic piece of equipment after we defeat battle 200 and it seems that we are going to get a diamond character battle 100 and on top of that it seems that the matches that were difficult in this tower will be still the same which basically means that you can Google the difficult matches and you can easily find the solutions for them. So, a lot of good stuff about this tower. I actually forgot to mention that everybody will start from the place where they left the tower. I believe I left it at battle 17 or something. So right now I'm at battle 47. You see, it is so good. Life is good, guys. However, the point of this video is not to talk about all these good things. Actually, they're good. They're really good, but there is another thing that I wanted to share with you. And a lot of you are asking which equipment is good, should we buy such packs and something? Is it worth, for example, to purchase the packs? Like every single tower, they start with the Black Dragon Park, with the Black Dragon Starter Pack and so on and so forth. So the question is, should you uh, go ahead and purchase the packs uh, when the epic packs arrive? Should you spend a lot of money now to max the equipment? Is it worth even spending? In general, let's take a look at the equipment we have. So let's take a look first at the epic equipment. Now, the Black Dragon Tower has four epic pieces. The first one in the is the Scoundrel Cybernetic Heart. So everything I'm about to say applies basically for every single one of the epic pieces. They are extremely good at Fusion Zero, at least some of them, like the Cybernetic Heart. So if you're wondering whether you are lucky if you obtain this one from Battle 200. Yes, you are extremely, extremely lucky. This is one of the best pieces of equipment in the game at Fusion Zero. And to be honest with you, it is really good on Kano if uh, it is being fused up to Fusion 10. And at Fusion 10, it gives 40% max health boost. This is not really that great. So I would say, I reckon that even at Fusion Zero, it is great. Every single fusion that it gets past that, it is good but the value added is not really amazing. So Fusion 0 to Fusion 10, it doesn't matter for me. So if you have it at Fusion 10, my uh, sorry, if you have it at Fusion 0, my idea is that it's not really worth investing a lot of money in order to get it to Fusion 10. It is not really worth. Even at Fusion 0, this equipment is incredibly good and you'll find it useful almost everywhere, especially on characters that can be saved or characters that uh, have uh, resurrections such as Jason or let's say MK11 team with MK11 Sub-Zero, this thing on Scorpion for example, absolutely incredible. The next epic is uh, the Smuggler's Look. Now this one is good at Fusion 10, of course. However, the thing that you get on Fusion 10 on Tag Out Gain Dispel, it can be partially useful but at certain situations it will be useless. Still, I wouldn't spend money in you know, order to max out this item. It is good but still, stacks up the damage of special one five times, it will be really good for uh, if, you're fight if you're fighting bosses, not only the Black Dragon Tower, like everywhere, and if you're fighting bosses, if you use uh, Undead Hunter Johnny Cage or uh, MK11 Scorpion, any character that heavily relies on special one, this item will be really, really useful. However, outside of it, still good, but not great. Now, we get to another epic, which is called... Nomad's Buzzsaw. <laughs> this equipment is incredibly, incredibly good. And you can see there's 26% chance to gain speed after a successful critical hit. Of course, the chance increases after every fusion, but again, it is still the same, guys. You can get it at fusion zero, and then it is not worth spending money in order uh, to. Uh, max it out especially look at it well, look at it at fusion 10 at fusion 10 it gives two bars of power after a teammate is defeated and that's not really great for survival mode because you don't want your teammate to be defeated the only battle where this thing will be good is battle number uh, 15 of the elder tower or battle number 12 in the fatal tower outside of it it won't be that great, but believe me, this equipment is extremely fun. Uh, give it to a usually slow character such as Shao Kahn and you'll have a lot of fun, trust me. Really, really good equipment. Now, there is one more, but let me see whether I remember. Yeah, I do remember now. This was the Black Dragon uh, Psych Bomb. Another equipment that is good at Fusion Zero. 
of course it's getting better if it is maxed out, but again, even at Fusion 0 it will work. So if I have to summarize it, uh, at Fusion 10 it gives 50% reduced power cost of special attack 2, it is really, it is kind of okay, not a game changer, but this equipment will be really useful if you're fighting, for example, Assassin's team in any other tower because you can put it on your main damage dealer on every tagging you have chance to stun Assassin Jade and you know she cannot evade if stunned. So another very very useful epic piece which is yeah it's getting better with fusion so it is good at fusion zero but it's getting better and better and better with each fusion and I would say the value added after each fusion is higher compared to the previous one. And on top of it, the thing that it gives at Fusion 10 is useful, 50% reduced power cost on Special Attack 2, much better than 40% health and much better than gaining 2 bars of power if um, a teammate is defeated. So definitely this is one is the best one to max out, but still I do not recommend spending money for this item, because once again, I think that even at Fusion 10 it still gives you chance, it is never 100%, I believe at Fusion 10 it is 80%. and. Uh, you still have to remember that stun can be resisted. So even if it tries to apply the stun, the stun can be resisted. Once again, this item is very good to have because in certain towers, you can use this item in order to inflict stun uh, on tagging. And that's always useful against certain characters that love to evade. Now let's take a look at the... Um, yeah, actually, let's take a look at the scoundrel elbow blades 85 percent chance to apply bleed when cripple or weaken is applied 65 percent basic attack damage boost against opponents with less than 30 percent health uh now this equipment is good for kano but since not a lot of people use kano no really the greatest thing in the world unfortunately uh i wouldn't spend money no to max this piece i'm sorry Let's see, the Stone Fist, it increases attack, which is good, uh, and gives Tremor 18% chance to apply stun on combo in a few 3 seconds, and 100% critical hit chance boost against stunned enemies. This one is good, but again, I wouldn't spend money to max it out, still it's better than the previous one. And if uh, somehow I manage to max it out, I would be pretty happy. Do we have something else, or do I have the rest maxed out? Oh my god, if I have the rest maxed out, I will search for... Let's let's uh, let's try to do by newest. Okay, what do we have here? What do we have here? All right, the scoundrel stone. Okay, we have this deadly thing. Eighty percent chance to apply poison for six seconds to the active enemy at the start of the match. Twenty-five percent to apply poison to enemy after gaining speed. Now you see what the problem with this item is. The problem is that to the active enemy at the start of the match. And what I remember from this thing is that it has to be physically given to your starter. And as you can tell, this equipment is designed to work on Cabal. And Cabal is the worst starter in MK Mobile. I'm not quite sure whether this is fixed. Uh, I mean, if Cabal can apply poison if he isn't the starter, I'm not quite sure that this is possible. If it is possible, that's good. If it isn't possible, then this is one of the worst pieces in the game because once again you can forget about the first thing the first thing that it gives because you don't want Cabal to be your starter ever okay guys so let's summarize what we said uh, it is good that they finally give uh, an extra chance for players to get um, other items apart from purchasing them from the store because if you have missed the initial run of the tower then the only way you can get um, an epic piece if you are extremely lucky by gaining a random drop or by purchasing it by real money but now at least i think this tower will be there for two or three weeks tops so at least you can get two epics for free and that sign of something good once again the cybernetic heart is by far the best epic out of all epics and probably the best black dragon piece in general so if you can get it even at fusion zero that would be great but if you have it at fusion zero just don't bother spending money to max it out it is not worth it the other very good and very fun item is the you know, busso really great especially on uh, especially on uh, generally slow characters and the rare pieces are just okay but not uh, game-changing pieces such as for example 
the Viper Hood which we had in the previous tower. Okay guys, this is going to be all from me for today, see you next time. Take care and stay safe. Perfect!